remaining. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joseph from ScreenBite, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mouse that I've been trying to get my hands on for a very long time now, and that is the Final Mouse Ultralight Pro in white. This mouse has been sold out everywhere since it came out a few months back, and I've been dying to get my hands to try it out. Now, I was one of the skeptics who thought that this mouse was just pure gimmick. Uh, there's no frills on it, there's just a couple of holes that make it supposed to make it lighter and better in game. Well, I can definitely tell you that this mouse is 100% worth it if you can get your hands on it. Uh, it's pretty awesome, but we'll talk to that about that as we go through this review. First, let's start with design. Now, you can't talk about the Ultralight Pro without first talking about those honeycombs. Uh, so there's a honeycomb design of holes on both the top and the bottom, and this is supposed to remove a lot of the material to get that weight down. And speaking of weight, this mouse weighs in at 67 grams. That is ridiculously light and a weight difference that you'll definitely feel when you first pick this thing up. It almost feels like there's nothing in your hand at all. However, they did keep things sturdy, which is another thing that I was afraid of. When you squeeze this mouse, there's no flex in the plastic. It definitely feels well built and I really do like the shape in general. It kind of reminds me of a slightly smaller Death Adder and the Death Adder is one of my favorite shapes. I just always felt it was a little bit too big for my hands. Now, size wise, I would say that this is a medium to the large size mouse. So I would say that you have, if you have hand size like mine, uh, I'm 19 and a half centimeters long by 10 centimeters wide, which so I have a medium large hand, so it does fit me quite nicely. Um, I like to do a hybrid palm claw, um, but you can very easily claw this mouse and palm grip this mouse. Fingertip grip, you are gonna want a slightly bigger hand, so just keep that in mind. The one minor complaint that I would make about the design is actually the braided cable. It is actually quite stiff and is very hard to maneuver. But now let's go ahead and have a listen to those clicks. So as I said before, this mouse is built really well. I actually really enjoy the clicks on this mouse. Uh, they're very crisp and not spongy. Um, I also really like the way the scroll wheel feels. Um, it's very smooth and the steps are pronounced, um, but it's not extremely loud it's like some of the more recent mice that I've tried. Um, as for the side buttons, um, they are very, very pronounced. Um, I would say there's a little bit of travel to them, but the click kind of subsides it. It's kind of hard to describe. You'd have to really feel it. Um, as for the build, like I said itself, it's just, it's very, very sturdy. There's no creaks and when I was shaking the mouse, I didn't feel any sensor rattle or anything like that. And quickly before performance, there is no software for this mouse. So you are stuck with the DPI steps that it provides, which are 400, 800, 1600, and 3200. All right, so on the sensor side of things, we once again are rocking a Pixart 3360, which in my personal opinion is the best sensor on the market. You really can't go wrong with this. And Final Mouse's implementation is near perfect, just like what I would expect. Um, it's true one-to-one -one movement. Um, there's no angle snapping, anything of that nature. Um, as you can see, I can very quickly just quick snap to the spot that I want to get to without any problems. Now, I cannot get the mouse to spin out which is fantastic because uh, unlike that some of the other more recent mice that I've tried it doesn't have that problem um, also it does pass the tilt slam test without any problem at all now on the latency side of things this is a new test that I'm trying so it's not perfect but I took a screen I took a video of me clicking the mouse and I'm going to slow it down to pretty much frame by frame to see how long it takes for the image to react from when I click So 
So click latency is not bad at all. You have to slow it way down. This is at like 30% speed in order for you to actually see it. Um, there is a very, very, very slight delay, but hardly noticeable when you're actually using the mouse. So lastly, there's the price. Uh, so this mouse is right up there with all the pretty much flagships that you can get this year at $70, which is extremely expensive for mice. Um, but for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the pass because it actually has genuinely helped me feel a little bit better in game, as well as I do overall like the look and how it feels in my hand, but whether or not the price is worth it will entirely be up to you. I would highly recommend definitely checking one out if you can get your hands on it just to see if it's worth it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, guys. So thank you once again for watching. As always, if you liked it, make sure to show it by hitting that like button down below. As well as if you have any questions about what we talked about, feel free to ask it in the comment section. You could also ask any questions on Twitter at ScreenBite. Also, the giveaway that I'm running for the EC2B is still going, so feel free to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter to enter that. When this channel hits a thousand subscribers, you will be in the running and I will choose my winner then. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.